Billions of years of evolutionary advancement. And then we have Cassie. I got a key! Ah, 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 ah. Ooh, 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 ah, ah. Happy day, I'm good! <laughs> And today I'm very excited because we are going to see Sally Face in a way that has never been seen before, according to the developers. I know that you guys really like Sally Face, so I went knocking on their inbox and I was like, hey, my viewers really like your game, we're waiting for episode two, like, is there anything you can show me, any secrets? And so they sent me the secret in order to find the Gear Boy, like, kind of like a little Game Boy in the game, and play the game and try to figure out what it means. So we're gonna find out what this little secret is, this little game within the game. I'm just really excited that like I, I just feel really privileged right now So we're gonna go ahead and get into it Also, if you have not seen episode one of Sally face then please watch it right here before watching this video Because this video is going to get into a secret having to do with the game But it's not gonna be so much about the narrative and We're restarting because there's a lot of different clues that I missed the first time that you really have to pick up on So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on this light here There you go And I'm just gonna look for any Let's just answer this phone. Hello? It's okay, Sal. Everything is going to be okay now. Come and see. Ugh. Who is this? Sal, come and find me. All right, I'll come in a bit. I just gotta figure out some other puzzles within this game. That was weird though, sounded like my dad. Now, as you can see here, there's a number on this key and it looks like a five. So we gotta keep that in mind. And we're just gonna go in here. Yeah, it's a five. So five is our forced number. The first time I played this, I was just like, okay, whatever. I didn't even look at the key. And now, we have these quiz doors. So this time, instead of going to the O here, I'm going all the way, baby. I'm going to the end. And there's a three here! So we got five, three, we gotta write the shit down. And I know that the code to this door is D-O-G, so we're just gonna go ahead. And now I remember this, this, this watercolor painting funeral. But there's, there's more to it. I just gotta figure out what that is. Hey, little doggy. Who's a good doggy? Who's a good boy? Uh, the, the dog buried her alive, so... Who did you eat? Did you eat my mother? He's got like a little bit of blood on his mustache. At first I just thought that was like the art, but apparently not. Ah! Okay, there's a six on the tree. Five, three, six. We got five, three, six. What else we got here? The mother and wife's grave. And I remember the first time I played this, there being a number here. Four. There it is. Five, three, six, four. Okay, we got the code, baby. Five, three, six, four. There we go. Yeah. Batteries included. <gasps> and so this, I assume, means that I've unlocked something. I've unlocked the batteries that come with the Gear Boy. I'm really excited to see what's going on. Here's my depressed dad. He's really sad. We just moved into a new place. He says, you're not my son. That's really rude, dad. Thank you. He thinks I'm a murderer. Oh, bye, dad. This is your fault. This, this game is like really scary even the second time. It's been like, it's been a minute. Mom? Are you what they call deceased? I remember it zooms in. <laughs> it's so scary. It looks like she's got like two little mouths for eyes. And that's when I woke up. Now I'm talking to my therapist. He thinks I'm dreaming. I think I'm seeing into the future, but I actually don't know that. Therapist wants to hear more about the body. I'm like, which one? There were bodies everywhere. You don't even know my past. The second one from the apartment. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, here we go. We're in the apartment. We're in the place where the Game Boy lives. Dad and I had just moved in and I had a weird feeling about this place. Now this place is a lot weirder than I thought it would be. We're going in again and we get to see everything a little bit differently because we're not doing exactly what the game tells us to do. We're kind of deviating from that path a little bit. This will be our new beginning. Yes, it will. Yes, let's leave what happened in New Jersey where all the dirty things live. No, I'm just kidding. I've never been. So instead of going out and exploring the entire place, we're going to Sal's room. Where is it? Where is it? Ah! There it is, the Gear Boy. I was wondering where that was. <gasps> we got the Gear Boy, baby. It's in our inventory. Oh, it's so good. The goal is to explore the building, but I've got other goals in mind. Right now, I'm interested in going to that kitchen, getting in these bags. Just some stuff dad got from the store, nothing important now. This is what it said the first time I played this. Oh wait, there's a pack of batteries in here, sweet! I never got the batteries last time. Now we gotta go find our friend with the lisp. Our lispy Lisa. I think she's on floor three. Yeah, she is. Hey, sorry, you just startled me a little. You must be one of the new guys. Yeah, we are the new guys. How about a key, huh? How about a key? Give me some keys. Hey Sal, what's up? 
How about you give me the fucking keys? Oh, baby. So now we are going to see little old Larry. This old guy we were friends with, but first, there's, there's a lost and found box here. I just wanna, yeah. Hey, there's a Gear Boy game in here. Oh, baby, give me that. <gasps> I can't tell what game it is. The label is ripped off. It's pretty beat up. Well, let's figure it out, baby. Oh, I'm so excited. Can we start? <laughs> uh, it, it looks pretty glitchy and like it's not really doing anything. My Gear Boy, my Gear Boy color. It's not working right now. Hmm, this game is all jacked up. Gotta go fix the game. Now we gotta go see Larry, specifically to get the walkie-talkie from him. Let me in, you son of a bitch. He compliments my mask. I, I show off my beauty in all of its glory. It's a prosthetic, thank you for noticing. Now he's saying it was definitely Charlie, the big creeper from 204, and we haven't seen Charlie yet in this game, but we did see him in episode one. Love that guy, super adorable. Has a thing for ponies. I just can't see Charlie slit in someone's throat. I don't know. We can use my walkie-talkies to communicate during the whole thing. That's- thank you, that's a really nice insurance policy. Give me the walkie-talkie. Okay, now we're just taking a little detour right now to my daddy's room, and I see a quarter by his feet. I need that quarter. Am I gonna wake him up? Okay. At least he's trying, not drowning himself in booze and not totally giving up on life, on me. That's really sad. Ooh, a quarter! Score! Okay, we got the quarter. Thank you so much. Now I'm going to call Larry and I'm gonna set this whole thing up. I'm in my room now. Larry says, okay, it's done. I heard a bunch of hustling upstairs, so I think it worked. Go see if you can get into 403 now. Will do, baby. Okay, I gotta, I gotta be a little quick. Examine these points. There's these little figures. Looks like one is missing. I can see a small clearing in the blood. That's it! I know how we can get him. Get out of here and come down to the basement. Oh, that was fast. Teleported. Sanderson and Charlie both collected those weird toys. They're nuts over those things. Now we're getting into Larry's theory, trying to frame Charlie. Mrs. Sanderson got the super rare one or something. She was telling me about it that day. I was fixing her toilet, you know? Anyways, I bet you Charlie couldn't resist taking it. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's why he offed her in the first place. Very interesting, Larry. That dude always did give me the creeps. Just something unsettling about him, you know? I feel like if you say that about anyone, then they become creepy. He like gives me the creeps. I don't know what it is about him. Maybe his like nose? I don't, I don't even know. Are you, are you sure you're okay? I'm a little nervous. Take my quarter, would you? Who the hell is that? What the? All right, so we were just on the fifth floor. There was some crazy shit going on up there, some nightmares going on upstairs, and also I saw a ghost in the kitchen, so I'm gonna go ahead and ask. Is this place haunted or what? What? Not this again. Did Chug put you up to this? Now, who is Chug? I've never heard of Chug. No, I just got a weird feeling about it. Who's Chug? He's the big kid on three. Usually can't miss him. But anyways, I don't believe in ghosts. Never saw one with my own eyes, you know? I guess so, but... I've seen like two, so. Later! I'm going to the third floor. I'm gonna go see this Chug guy. Hopefully, he's out in the open. The thing, like the wet floor thing, is now gone. Never, never been here before. And we got this guy eating a chocolate bar. He's very cute. Hello. Whoa. Um, hey. I'm Sal. Just moved in. You can call me Sally Face. Chug. Nice to meet you, Sally Face. Nice meeting you, Chug. Um. Hello. Chug. How'd you get your nickname there, Chug? Huh? What nickname? Oh shit, his actual name is Chug. Do you think this building is haunted? Why? Did you see something too? Yeah, I think so. Knew it! Knew I'm not crazy, ha! Huh! So you've seen that old man. Old man? No, I think that's just crazy homeless dude that sleeps up on five sometimes. But I did see lots of stuff, man. Crazier stuff than just that old bum. Like things moving all by their own and weird noises and stuff, you know? I keep trying to tell everyone, but no one ever believes me. Aw, oh, poor Chug. Maybe swallow the chocolate first? Well, I believe you. Oh, thanks, Sally Faze. Oh, I did see a girl once. I think I saw a girl too in the kitchen. <laughs> What the hell was that? Although I couldn't really tell. A girl! I thought it was homeless guy's daughter, but she just disappeared. That's why I used my key to lock the bathroom shut tight! It's too scary! Aw, poor Chug, he's seen some shit. Wait, you have a key to 504? Yup! Found it on the ground! Really? 
Let's go check it out together. Come on! No way! Not going in there! Ghosts live in there! How about you let me borrow the key, and I'll check to make sure it's safe. Can't just give you the key, but maybe you can trade me something for it? I do have a quarter. Want to trade? If you let me borrow that key, I could give you, um, a quarter. Yes, I can. Oh man! Heck yes! Here, take it! Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Got the key, baby. 504 and it's got a skull on it. Wow. Very subtle. I appreciate the subtlety. Now, this is the room that I was just in. With Mr. Creepy Dude. I remember the bathroom being locked. So, let's just see if it's get even his hands on it and shit. I'm scared. Huh. Is anyone in here? Oh, boy. It's okay. I won't hurt you. I'm a friend. Hello? Hello. You are? Yeah, sure. My name is Sally Face. Huh? Your name is funny. You're not scared of me, Sally Face? No, of course not. Okay, that's good. Why do you have pigtails in your hair? That's for girls, silly. <laughs> Whoever said that only girls can wear their hair in pigtails? I like pigs too. I never thought of that. You're funny, boy. Why were you crying before? That's what I want to know. Everyone always runs away from me when I try to talk to them. I get so lonely up here, all alone. I can understand that. I get lonely sometimes too. It must be hard being by yourself. Well, I'm not really all alone. There are... Excuse me? Hello? Little girl? You still here? Huh? Oh god, what is it? I do not like that one bit. Huh. Oh my god, Chug, what the hell? Chug, what are you doing here? You said you were scared. Asking myself the same question. I thought you were too scared of this room. I am, but you were gone for so long I needed to check on you, you know? Make sure the ghost didn't get you. Thanks, man. I'm okay. Nothing got me. Good, good. That's good. So I was thinking, maybe you keep that key? I don't like coming up here anyway. You seem more into it. Alright, I'll hold on to it, but you can borrow it anytime you want. Okay, deal. I really don't like this room. Alright, Chug, let's go, baby. Chug! Chug? Hey, my game! It's working! House of the Wretched! <gasps> okay. Yes! The Gear Boy finally works! We did it! Somehow Chug turned into a ghost, or maybe he was a ghost all along, I don't know, but... Some weird shit is going down in this hotel that I've never seen before. That girl was scary as hell. We're gonna play this game and try to find out what it means. Upon waking from its grave, a lowly skeleton rises to the world of the living once more. Plagued with despair, the old pile of bones struggled to push forward so that it may be released of the shackles binding it to this life of the undead. That's long-winded. Okay, level one, the graveyard. The grave I had dug my way out of mirrored the condition of my soul. Empty, cold, and dark. Ooh, sassy. Oh, wait, wait. I w I'm like walking, I can't even see the screen, but I see a headstone. My father's grave was hidden at the very edge of the cemetery, cast away by remaining family, only to be included in our burial plot for legal reasons. It's kind of sad. Ooh, got a key. All right, now I hope this key works for something. As I looked upon my sister's grave, a great sadness came over me. Only to be burned away by a sudden rage that swelled within my heart. Oh, this Mr. Funny Bones. He's had some rough <gasps> The gate. Level two, the courtyard. Okay. Got it. The doors locked, it towered over me, asserting its ominous presence. A swing. I don't know if skeletons are particularly fond of swings. Fire pit. Ooh. The fire pit was tilled with coal and ash, but some of the bits within seemed strange and foreign to me. I couldn't quite reach inside on my own to examine the remains. What's in there? I noticed a twig hanging low and broke it off. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, so I got a twig. We're going to the fire pit. We're gonna get that shit out of that fire pit. Hopefully that's what we're doing here. I prodded through the ash with the stick I had found. At the bottom of the pit, I discovered a gruesome sight. What is it? Pieces of human bone and teeth. Anger and sorrow swirled through my bones in a hurricane-like fashion. I got a key. I got a key! Ah, 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 ah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, ah. Let's just see what the swing's all about. The old swing swayed gently in the wind, taunting me with memories of youth and happiness. Aww, are you an old bone now? He's an old pot of bones. He's walking through the old graveyard. Let's sit down for a little bit. In my living years, I had many happy moments on that bench. Sometimes with the company of my sister or mother, or sometimes just myself. 
So he's a very contemplative, angst-filled pile of bones. Okay, let's get in here. Level three, the house. <gasps> okay. The stone fireplace that once brought warmth to our lives now sat silent in the absence of life. Oh. Is that so? The dining room set was disheveled. Yeah, it looks like it. it. looks like someone got drunk. One chair had been tipped over, and a broken wine glass lay beside several scuff marks on the table. What happened? This poor skeleton. Ooh, some wine. Mmm. My mother had loved her wine. Perhaps too much, though I couldn't blame her. She liked to hit the old bottle, I see. Okay, let's go up the stairs. The door at the top of the stairs was locked. I needed to find a key to continue. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, where is it? Where is it? I noticed something under the chair. It was the key that I had been looking for. That was just a total fluke. I was just trying to sit down, drink some wine, think about my existence, but found a key. So we're going upstairs, baby. Let's go. Ooh, level four. His study. I can't believe there's a game inside this game. And there's a part of the game that like nobody even knew about. It's so cool. Like the detail. Okay. Plants? All of the plants were withered. It's also important to note that you can only play this game in the bathroom on the fifth floor upstairs, in that room with those crazy ghosts and shit. And like, I'm trying to figure out what that means. Like, is the game haunted? Like, is my is my gear boy enchanted by this hotel? Or like, I'm just trying to figure out what it's trying to say here. I really wanna know what the message is here. The file cabinet was locked, as usual. My father had spent his life behind that desk. And like with a picture of Hawaii in the background. He was working all day, dreaming about, you know, the palm trees and the sunset. Piles of paper surrounded an ashtray overfilled with the remnants of many cigarettes. In one of the drawers, I saw a picture of my parents. In it, they were younger and happy, a sight I wasn't used to. Aw, but why are you a skeleton? Can't you put some clothes on? Another locked door, as if the house itself was trying to keep me from venturing deeper into my past. Ooh, I noticed a book that seemed out of place. When I pulled it out, a key fell to the ground. Give me that. Okay, so this looks like a file cabinet kind of key, like not a house key kind of thing. So we're gonna try this one. In the top drawer, I saw phone records with multiple times circled. Beneath that were pictures of what looked like my mother having lunch with another man. So he was keeping track of her calls and she was having an affair. Okay. Got another key! So my mom cheated on my dad, basically. Going upstairs, her room. Who's? I'm kinda scared. What's in the chest? The fragmented memories of my past began to come together. The pieces of me I had lost along the way. The horror I hid from. Reality had returned to me. Hello? Hello? Oh, hey. Is that like that little girl from the fifth floor? I'm not sure if it is, but... Doesn't that kind of look like her a little bit? Maybe I'm reading into this too much. <gasps> this is the room that she stays in. Should I go to the bathroom? <laughs> I'm scared. Hello? Go to the bathroom first. I'm really nervous. <gasps> Why? What happened? <gasps> oh god. I got a key from my own dead corpse. Okay, this is some scary shit. Well, now we go to the other room. This is my mom's room. Eh? Eh? So he killed her. He killed both of us. Cause she cheated on him, right? And then he hanged himself. There's a note here. Oh God. Achievement unlocked, House of the Wretched. Yeah, it's very wretched in here. Her eyes turned from me and my heart grew dark and twisted with hatred. Her eyes turned from me, meaning she started looking at another man in a loving way. All that I have once loved is now gone. I've put an end to it all. The burden of living is far too great to bear any longer. Please forgive me. But you killed your- why'd you have to kill your family too? Wait, that's- Where did you get that game? I found it downstairs in the lost and found box. It's a pretty strange game. There's no label on it. Man, this game is dark. Like, I knew it was dark, but like... This game just like brought it to another- like it brought it from like a 7 to like a 11 maybe? It reminded me of something. What is it? I... I can't. Wait, what? Why? Why do you look so happy? Why are your lips all crinkled like an old lady? I'm sorry. Please leave me alone. Uh, okay. You got it. Damn. All right then, and what did Chug have to do with it? Chug! Chug! So that is the Gear Boy component to Sally Face. I didn't know it was so elaborate and that you had to do so many things that were out of the way in order to unlock it, but it's so cool. I'd like to thank the developers of Sally Face for giving me all this info. I will link their Steam link in the description below. Please check